Yo, what is good? You guys, your boy Jason JV here, and uh, welcome to another reaction video. As you guys can probably tell from the title, uh, we're taking a break from Eminem's Music To Be Murdered By album. Um, you know, because I'm getting sick and tired of all these damn copyright claims. You cheap fuckers. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a break from that, and we're going to react to Ryan Upchurch's Kill Shot, or excuse me, Skill Shot, rather. Which is the uh, Kill Shot remix, and he did this because he was bored, according to the title. So, uh, hold up, that's not just the gun yet. Alright guys, so, without further ado, this is, like, once again, Brian Upchurch's uh, Skill Shot, the Kill Shot remix, Bored. So, uh, like to hear hey go. A good percentage of these fucking, these rappers, you know, they call themselves rappers or whatever. Man... How does that make a, a, okay so say say you're a rapper right you know what i'm saying say you're a rapper i'm a rapper whatever you've been in the game for a good 10 years whatever whatever and then some dude comes in that is naturally a country artist and bosses you all right y'all real quick uh in regards to what they're saying here in the intro hey look man i don't care what walk of life you come from man you love rap you love hip-hop you want to bring your own flavor into the house of rap and hip-hop hey man welcome and do your thing you know what i'm saying um sick and tired of people are saying like oh you know i've been doing this for so long you know then here comes you got this new guy coming in and he's trying to do something different whatever blah blah, blah. so what so what do you bruh do you you know what i'm saying anyway let's wind this back a bit because as you guys can hear the beat kind of kicked in there it's naturally a country artist Put your seatbelt on, you're gonna need it in a minute. I ain't scared to die, laughing rappers trying to ride with me. I'ma make you fall off, cause I pop mad willies. You just suck while I'm sucking on mad titties on bad bitches. <laughs> uh, I had to pop, I had to pause there, man. And yeah, I've been watching a lot of Ryan's videos, man. This, this, this is some, he's a crazy motherfucker. I'll give him that much, man. But hey. I'm a huge fan of this dude, you know what I'm saying? And I'm digging what he's doing. I'm digging this, this joint so far. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and sucking on them titties, hey, hey, man. I understand that because, you know, that's kind of my thing, too. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Don't mean to get too personal on you, but, hey, I'm just keeping it 100. All right? Because, you know, I'm with the shit, all right? Ride with me, I'ma make you fall off Cause I pop mad willies You just suck while I'm sucking on mad titties On bad bitches Yeah, strike from the countryside From a sick thin ass Can I bum a fucking ride? That's like a record label like Lamborghini looking fresh Army green paint Mud cake Throw the head ass I'm the rooster Who needs the career booster So yeah, uh, he did actually buy a Lamborghini um, And he'll tell you in one of his videos It's not really his style He basically bought it Just as a, a middle finger To the record labels That wants to sign him he didn't want to do the, the record label thing. He wanted to be independent, which, hey, I respect this dude for that. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing, man. Be independent. That way you, you, you can stay true to yourself and make your own sounds. You know what I'm saying? That's the route that I'm going with my shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to say what I want to say and uh, do it my way. You know what I mean? Because it's my way or the highway. And uh, that Lamborghini... <laughs> I did see it. He did. Um, he actually wrapped it. It's like this um, army style military base Matt Green, and um, yeah, one of his brothers actually smashed right into it with, with, a, with a pickup truck. Man, it's fucking crazy. So anyway. I feel that man. Hip hop is my drug of choice. I'm an everyday user. I, I dig that shit, man. It's it's my drug of choice too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Let's get it. So I'm a neighbor to be a loser. Hip hop is my drug, bitch. I'm an everyday user. Ooh, Rick Flair with the nose hairs and the knock up to kill a hibernate. Ooh, Rick Flair with the nose hairs. <laughs> nice. A little double entendre there. I, I, I see you, Brian. I see you, Ryan. I almost called you Brian. I don't know why. But yeah, Ryan, I, I see you, bruh. I see you, man. Bitch, I'm an everyday user. Ooh. Alright, 
right. He's starting to get a little heated here, man. But he's letting you know, man. He's done playing nice. You know what I mean? And I can relate to that, man. Because, uh, you know, over the years, man, some people be, like, doing me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Doing me dirty. I I'm at a point where I'm done playing nice, too. You know what I mean? I just don't give a fuck. You know? I just don't. So, fuck your feelings. Because you didn't care about mine. Anyway. Never knew where I suck a dick. I like that. That's dope. <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta wind that back. I gotta wind that back. Ooh, I'm gonna see if I, if I if I heard this right. He he was saying something about if you're gonna grab if if you're gonna grab a chick by her tit, make sure it's not one that's trying to increase her income. That was a that was definitely a shot fired at at Katie Noel. You don't know who Katie Noel is? Look her up. Uh, long story short, she's the girl that um, Ryan was with. Uh, they just broke up uh, weeks ago. Uh, it turned out that Katie was uh, playing Ryan. She basically used him for clout. I mean, what else is there? You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, she was just trying to elevate her career and destroy his in the process and ended up backfiring in her face, and rightfully so. Wow. Forcing him to masturbate while she hangs with her ex. And then let's be honest. Ooh, I, I see what he did there with that let's be honest. Because Katie has come out to saying that she is a lesbian. She was with a girl before she hooked up with, with uh, Ryan. And um, yeah, and Ryan is trying to stay on the truth side. You know what I mean? Stay on that real side. Tell, tell his truth. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I see what you're doing, Ryan. I see what you're doing, man. And I don't blame you for taking shots at Katie, man. I know what it's like to be played, all right? I've been there too, man. I know what it's like to be played. I'm not saying I've been played by Katie. No. I have been with, with, with a female who, who played me. You know what I'm saying? I told a story about it, a brief story about it, in my Eminem's Darkness reaction video. I'll leave a card up above if you want to hear about that story. So, yeah. Ryan, I feel your pain, bro. I, I've been there myself, man. It's not fun. It's not something that I would wish on any dude. You know what I mean? Not even my worst enemy. I would never wish on anyone. Because uh, you can actually die from a broken heart. That's facts. Wow, she couldn't <laughs> she couldn't build her career on her own, even if he walked her to it. Wow. So, yeah, right there, you hear Ryan screaming over the phone? That was the, um, that was the day Katie decided to leave Ryan. Because what happened on that day is, I mean, I really don't mean to speak on it. I mean, it's already out there on YouTube. A lot of people already put it out there. The man himself put it out there. Katie put it out there. So, it's out there. I mean, there's no going back. But basically, um, what happened was, um... Ryan and Katie, they were in bed together. According to Ryan, yeah, he tried to cuddle up on this girl. He tried to spoon with her, and I guess she kept, according to Katie, she kept pushing him off. She wasn't, she wasn't with it. She wasn't feeling it. You know what I mean? And um, supposedly, uh, she felt like she was violated, so she tried to pull the whole "me too" BS on Ryan. And um, 
thank God, you know, a lot, a majority of the fans, they weren't buying it. I wasn't buying it. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of wolf criers out there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to get into that whole Me Too thing. All, all, all I'm going to say is this. Is that I appreciate the intent behind the Me Too movement. I understand what it's for. Because I understand that there are legit cases of women actually being raped, molested, and other uh, unspeakable things. You know, but let's face facts. There's also women out there who are trying to take advantage of the Me Too movement to advance their lives, their careers. You know what I'm saying? With the good, there's the bad. And that's in every group. So, take that as you will. Anyway. Oh yeah, so anyway, so that this phone call right here that he added into the track, this was the day Katie left. And she didn't leave right away. She went downstairs. Um, she talked to some of his family members. She, I think she even ate, like, breakfast, too, which was weird. I mean, if you felt like your boyfriend uh, violated you, why did you just up and leave? You know what I mean? Why did you go downstairs, hang out for a little bit, have, have a meal, and talk to his family? It makes no damn sense. Anyway. <laughs> And you could tell right there that this was planned. This was all bullshit because when she was all like, what the fuck? There was a little bit of laughter there. If you, As a matter of fact, Ryan has the phone call um, on his uh, YouTube channel. So uh, you can hear the whole phone call and you can hear actually hear Katie laughing. So this is how you know that she's full of shit for one and that this was planned. Kate is like a cartoon, 100% fake. Man, that, hey, that's facts. Bruh. Bruh. Let's wind that back a bit. Square body, square body Chevy. No, you like ball sacks and daddies. Oh, God. <laughs> oh shit. And that's why you and Chris take a lead each other on a futon and you fucking Snapchat spray. I give an evil grin. You think that you're Roman Roman, no bitch like a diva on Instagram. Any hard worker really can't come see this shit. Your last video was a knock of a star face, bitch. Can you even start a chainsaw? Beavis, you can't butt heads with me. I, I see what you did there. I actually watched Beavis and Butthead back back in the 90s when I was a kid, man. Goes to show how old I am. Damn it. Anyway, <laughs> man, Beavis and Butthead was the shit. I don't care what anyone says. So the last two characters right here that he was dissing was, um, I believe one of them's name is Hozier and the other one is Shotgun Shane. Uh, they have a music video where, like he said, it's like a knockoff um, chainsaw scene from Scarface. And um, yeah, and I'm not going to say too much about these guys because they're honestly not that great at rappers. They, they actually made a, I think, I think it's Hozier. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think one of them made a response to uh, this track, and, it, and they called it Cum Shot. Yeah. Yeah, very, very uh, creative there. But anyway, um, it's based, and they actually used the original Kill Shot beat 
from Eminem's Killshot Diss. And not only that, they also borrowed some lines, some bars from Eminem's Killshot. And they added their own bars to it. So they try to make it their own thing. But um, they, yeah, they, they stole some of M's lines, so, which was very lazy writing. You know what I mean? Very, very lazily done. Um, they didn't put a whole lot of effort into it, so it's not really worth getting into. You know what I mean? If you want to hear um, the original version of Kill Shot, I mean, just look up Eminem's Kill Shot to MGK. That's a much better track. You know what I mean? Ryan, I got to give him points because all of his bars all the way through, they were all original bars, and it was him telling his story. You know what I mean? Telling the truth about what happened between him and uh, Hozier and Shotgun Shane. Uh, what happened between him and Katie and all that BS. As I mentioned earlier, Ryan, man, uh, I'm so sorry. Yet you had to go through uh, that BS, you know what I mean, getting played by this girl. You know what I mean? Like I said, this is not something that I would wish on any guy. You know what I mean? As this happened to me. And um, it took me a while to, to recover from that heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm going to say about that. And... I'm, I'm with somebody now, you know what I'm saying, who actually loves me. She, hell, she even told me, like, a couple days ago. She actually said the words, I love you. And I told her right back, hey, I love you too. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, and she's treating me much better than the last girl that I was with. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah. Bruh, I understand what you're going through as far as that stuff's concerned. I mean, hey, you, you just want that real woman in your life. You want to do right by them. You know what I'm saying? You want to do what is best for both you and that girl that you love. You know what I mean? I understand it. I've been there. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's it's harsh, man. It sucks. And I hope, I, I seriously do hope you, you find that real one. You know what I mean? Someone who, who really does love you and really appreciates um, your, your hard work and your dedication. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. As far as the song goes, man, it's fire, bro. I, I, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Them bars are on point. The delivery was on point, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, man, this this thing this thing is straight fire. And he, it, man, and he was bored. He did this because he was bored. Man, it says a lot about him. So, anyways, guys, <laughs> uh, let me know how you feel about um, this track from from Up Church, uh, Skill Shot, which is the Kill Shot remix that he made because he was bored. Um, are you with it? Do you hate it? Let me know down below. Um, are you fans of Ryan Upchurch? Let me know about that too down below. And also, guys, don't forget to uh, if you're if you're regulars on here and you've been rocking with me for for a while up to this point. First of all, thank you for all very much for doing so. And don't forget to uh, you know continue to show that that support by simply just liking these videos, commenting down below, dislike the video. Like I said, I'll take any and all interaction because it all counts. You know what I mean? And I appreciate y'all. For that and uh, if you're new here hopefully you uh, consider subscribing to my channel as I'll be doing more reaction videos I'll be doing more uh, I'll be uploading more music on here as well and I'm gonna be doing uh, I'll still be doing gameplays as well because um, I'm now officially gonna announce that I'm gonna make this channel both a music channel and a gaming channel you know what I mean so that way get the best of both worlds for for everyone all right yeah so with all that being said, guys, it is your boy Jason JV saying that y'all take care, and I will catch y'all later. Peace!